Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I've got a juicy topic for you. You wanna stick around and learn more things about fitness, health, overall how to feel your best, that it doesn't just have to do with, you know, losing weight or gaining muscle, like how to change your mindset so you thrive. Things you can do before becoming your fittest self. It's not, it's not just working on the outside, it's really important to work on the inside too. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe. All right guys, in today's topic, we are talking about unexpected reasons why you have no energy. That's the biggest thing I hear is people complaining that they don't have the energy to, to do the things that they wanna do. So I came up with seven reasons on little things that you might be doing that you don't even realize that could be just depleting your energy or not you know, giving you that energy that you need to hit your goals, feel your best, live the life you wanna live, become who you are meant to become. These things might seem small, but they are things that are too easily ignored. I'm not gonna be talking about the bait, like the main things that we hear all the time, like sleeping and eating right. Like we know those things, but these are little things that you probably don't even realize that you're doing that are depleting your energy. Number one, not moving enough. Guys, the less you move, the less energy you need. So your body just adapts to not having to give you energy because you're not moving enough. So step one is to just move more. Anyway, any way that you see fit, it could be a walk, it could be a dance, any type of movement will give you energy, right? Your body will get used to needing to move more and so it will create more energy in your day to day. I know it sounds kind of, tough to get your mind wrapped around that because right now you're probably so tired after work. You're so tired when you wake up, but you're, you just need to move more and your body will create energy. I promise you. I'm living proof of this. My clients see it too. Like the days I have the least amount of energy, I get up, I go outside, I do my workout, whatever, and I feel so much better afterwards. Movement will give you energy, even after a bad night's sleep, even after a hard day's work, especially on those days. Number two, sabotaging yourself with self-talk. Guys, I've been guilty of this too, but what are you telling yourself constantly, right? If you're already not moving enough and you're already feeling low energy and you wake up and from the moment you wake up throughout the day, you're telling yourself in your mind that you're tired, you're tired, you're tired, you're tired. That's self-talk, like whatever you continuously tell yourself it's like an affirmation you're telling yourself i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired so you're gonna feel tired so you need to really pay attention to what you're telling yourself inside maybe try to tell yourself i feel good i feel good i feel good change that self-talk guys i i've been guilty of this once you realize the the story you're telling yourself is what is true so if you tell yourself i feel good i feel good or i have energy i have energy you're gonna feel those things in time. Affirmations work, but this is not kind of an affirmation that you don't even realize you're doing it. So, so what are you telling yourself on your energy levels? If you're telling yourself you're tired over and over again, you're gonna be tired. So change that self-talk. Telling yourself, I feel good, I have energy, I have energy will help, I promise you. And these are in no particular order, by the way. <laughs> Number three, starting your day with mind-numbing things or using them too much throughout the day. Like, are you waking up and right away just numbing your mind, maybe with social media, or you're getting on the phone, or you're turning on the TV, just watching the news, or even watching any shows? Like, are you just numbing yourself to start your day? Guys, if I can give you one tip, is to really be careful of electronics first thing in the morning um, to start your day. Like, if you wanna feel energize and feel good you need to be present within yourself you can't just numb numb and distract right so it doesn't mean you can't turn on music or something like that i actually find music really really energizing and i have a gratitude app that i use on my phone but i keep it on airplane mode so i do all these things i listen to music I do use some electronics, but it's not mind numbing. I'm very present within the moment. So can you wake up and stop numbing yourself? Be present with your food, with your coffee. Can you get outside? Like how would your morning look differently if you stopped numbing it? I find that my days are totally different when I'm really present and I set my intentions for the day first thing. And I make sure not to like numb myself with distractions. 
I, I get in tune with my body to realize what I need to have an awesome day. And that's, you know, that's step one into feeling your best that day. Number four is not making time to live your best life. Like, are you taking time every day to live? Guys, at the end of the day, when I walk around my neighborhood, so many people are just watching Netflix mindlessly, and I have nothing against Netflix. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Netflix. But there's a time and place for it. You know, when the sun is shining, and it's a beautiful summer night, and you're inside just mindlessly watching Netflix every single day, day in, day out, day in, day out. Are you really making time to live? Like every day you should have at least one moment where you're like, I'm living, I'm living. Whether it's spending time with someone, spending time by yourself in nature, whether it's just being present with yourself and doing something that makes you feel like you had an amazing day, even if it's just a moment. Like what do you love the most? Do you love to paint? Do you love to read? Like making sure that you take time to do something you that makes you feel your best, that makes you feel like you're living your best life is super important. And for me, sometimes it's just as simple as sitting outside with my cup of coffee and not doing any work, or at the end of the day, sitting outside with my glass of wine and having a chat with my husband just without electronics, just making time to live in the moment will totally change how you feel by the end of the day because you're making time to actually live. Number five, are you just too stressed out? And maybe that's with your job, maybe that's with your life, you know, what things that are making you stressed can you get rid of? And sometimes it's turning off the news. Sometimes it might be taking a vacation. Can you cut down your shift? Can you reduce things that are stressing you out? Or finding ways to get rid of that stress, right? Exercise can be a great stress reducer. Getting out in nature can help with reducing stress. But also, how can you just bring down the stress in your life? Whether it's self-induced, like are you just trying to be too perfect? I know a lot of parents out there have so much stress on making every day perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. Can you just let go and tell yourself that you did the best you could that day? That's all you can do, guys. No day is gonna be perfect. The other thing is working on stress-reducing techniques if you can't actually remove the stress from your life. Like when you're feeling that stress come on, can you do breathing techniques? If I'm feeling that anxiety, that stress come on, I try to take, you know, six, five to six deep, deep breaths, and I just let that stress go in the moment, and I feel a lot better, right? Because stress is gonna come up, right? Do what you can to reduce the stress, but stress is gonna happen, and you need to learn how to deal with it. And little techniques that don't take time, like breath work, can really make a difference. Obviously, if you're taking the time for working out, you know that that helps a lot. But can you just remove that stress? You know, whether it's hiring help, you know, getting, asking for help. Sometimes you got to do it. Number six, social isolation. Are you making enough time to connect with people? Guys, I really truly believe whether you're an introvert, extrovert, connection is so important. I kind of consider myself like, an introvert or extrovert, I definitely need both alone time and time with people, but nothing energizes me more than real connection with people. Are you making that time to connect, to make that time for friends, make that time for family, guys? Connection will help your energy. Even if you're an introvert, you need people too. You know, maybe it's a different situation. Maybe you prefer one-on-one -on -one time. Make that time because if you aren't seeing people, one thing I've learned through the unspoken two years <laughs> is isolating yourself from society is really bad for your mental health and for your energy levels. Like there's no time that I felt the worst than not being able to connect with the ones I love. So even though sometimes I do want more alone time, it's important to have a balance, not just isolating yourself with Netflix, with work, with all those distractions, right? Making the time to really live and make those moments, those experience, live your life, have make memories with, with people and get it, getting off your devices, right? Just chatting back and forth like is not connection. <laughs> get out, be present, be with people. And my last point is no passion for life. 
a lot of people focus on like a goal. A goal will give you purpose. And, and I get that, like a, a fitness goal can really be helpful, but to be honest, I haven't had a fitness goal in a long time. Um, but can you find something that that gives you passion, that gives you fire, that makes you want to wake up. You know, are you making time for something that you can be really passionate about? You know, finding new things that get you really excited is so important, especially as we get older. If you look at kids, they get into stuff and it changes all the time. They could be into going outside and having so much fun doing this thing. And then it's, they can be really passionate about coloring and then this and then that and then this. They change it all the time. So doesn't, you, your passion can change month to month. Like right now I've been into like making pasta and I wanna make it so yummy. And I'm like actually really excited to make new pastas and I, I'm watching like, authentic Italian recipes it just really lights up something in me that I just love doing it. I love eating it. I love the experience of it. So are you taking the time to be passionate about something, learning about something that kind of lights something within you? And I'd recommend it not be work related because I used to only focus on learning about fitness and health and nutrition, but I find just branching off to something that's outside of your, you know, your work really gets your mind going, gets those juices going, and that energizes you. And at the end of the day, it's weird for me to be excited over making a yummy meal because I was definitely that person that like felt like it was a chore. So not that I'm making pasta every night, but you know, once or twice a week. <laughs> all right guys, that's all I've got for you. If you enjoy this video, please, please, please share it with your friends. If you can start even implementing one or two of these things, they will make a big difference in your day-to-day -day energy, I guarantee it. So don't forget to like the video, it helps me so much. And subscribe so you can watch all my upcoming videos. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye guys.